How does one compute AUC for an SVM classifier? Let's see. First, why is this an interesting problem? This is interesting because AUC is typically computed for classifiers that give us a distribution over the classes as an outcome and not just the absolute class values. For example, a logistic regression would give us the probability of success and not just success or failure as the outcome. And for such classifiers, we typically, such models, we typically compute the AUC metric. Let's quickly recapitulate what the AUC metric means. Suppose I have a logistic regression classifier for different values of thresholds theta. So what I mean by threshold is if the probability of success is greater than or equal to theta, I would say it's positive. And if it's less than theta, I would classify it as negative. For different values of thresholds, we get a different classifier from the model. Now, suppose I plot the false positive rate on the x-axis and the true positive rate on the y-axis for a particular value of theta, let's say 0 0.3, which means all instances that have probability of success greater than 0 0.3 are classified as positive, I would get one point with one specific FPR and TPR. If I take another theta or threshold equals 0 0.6, I get another pair of FPR, TPR and another point. When I join all these points, I get the AUC curve. And uh, basically the ROC curve. And the area under this ROC curve is what I call my AUC metric. Now, if we take a classifier such as an SVM, we cannot directly draw the AUC curve, uh, the ROC curve, because the outcome of the SVM is a zero, is a plus one or a minus one. So it is the class label itself and not necessarily a probability. So the outcome is of this form, y hat equals sine of some f of x. And this f of x is typically something like w transpose x plus b, a hyperplane in the case of an SVM. Now, how do we compute a ROC curve from this? And how do we compute the AUC metric? Now, number one, is it possible to do so? Is it pro possible to get a distribution of our classes or a probabilistic outcome from a SVM classifier? And it turns out the answer is yes. So some of you might have used code like this before. So this is uh, from sklearn, where I have an SVM model and I'm saying model.probability is true. And then I fit with some training data and some target values. and I can use model.predict proba with some test data and it will actually give me some probabilities, the SVM model. What's happening under the hood here? So there are many ways that one can actually leverage the existing model to come up with some kind of probability estimates as outcomes. For example, let's take the SVM classifier itself and suppose we have some positive instances and some negative instances. The SVM classifier is finding the maximum margin hyperplane as the decision boundary. So this could be some W transpose X plus B. And the output of SVM is of the form Y hat equals sine of W transpose X plus B. Or rather, I would write this in a more generic form as sine of F of X, which is some function of X. So this is usually plus one or minus one in the case of an SVM, a binary SVM. So now maybe we can use the distance of various points from the hyperplane to find a proxy for what is the probability of a particular point is positive class versus negative class. So there are, there are proxies and hacks we can use, but the challenge is when we use such proxies, the the outcome tends to be ill-calibrated. What I mean by ill-calibrated is the distribution of what we 
uh, see from these outcomes will be different from the distribution that we see in the training data on the predicted class labels. So how do we calibrate better? So there are some techniques that are commonly used. A popular technique is flat scaling. And this is something that happens in sklearn as well, when you want to get a probability distribution over classes as outcome, instead of a absolute class value in sklearn. So what does plat scaling do? Plat scaling is a way of transforming the outcome of a classification model into a probability distribution over classes. Let us see how. So essentially what we are saying is P of Y equals 1 given X equals 1 by 1 plus E power A into F of X plus B. For some A and B where F of X is nothing but so your original classifier should be of the form Y hat equals sine of F of X. Suppose this is your original classifier. Then what plot scaling is doing is a sigmoidal transformation to come up with probability distribution over classes as the outcome. Now, how do we know the values of, so basically given any new data point X, I will find F of X, which I'm anyway doing for the normal SPM. And I will actually find 1 by 1 plus e power a into f of x plus b in order to come with the probability of value. So how do we know the value of a and b in order to compute this? So it turns out that these are learned again automatically using the maximum likelihood estimator uh, when we are actually training the model. So these are automatically learned. a and b are automatically learned. Okay, so this is one way we can actually transform the outputs into probabilities over the uh, various classes and we can plot the AUC, uh, the ROC curve and compute the AUC metric once we have probabilities because we can define different thresholds and then plot the ROC curve. Turns out that this is not the only way to do such calibration. So plat scaling is one technique. Another technique is isotonic regression. And there are some few other techniques as well to do such calibration. And sklearn has an option of plat scaling or in some cases isotonic regression as well. It also turns out that there are several models on which we can actually do this. This is not very specific to SVM per se. But though it was originally this plat scaling was originally invented for SVM but uh, it is applicable to several models. So some models on which we can do such kind of um, calibration involve SVMs, decision trees, right? And there are several other models for which you can actually use plat scaling. So what we have seen is that even though a classifier gives us a absolute class value as the outcome, such as an SVM, we can actually compute the AUC metric, which is useful in some cases, because sometimes we don't want an, a zero or a one or a plus one or a minus one from the classifier. Rather, we would want a distribution over classes because it gives us more information in some ways, because we can try to figure out, for instance, we can set a threshold value based on whether we care more about precision or more about recall. So. It makes sense to get probabilistic outcomes sometimes, probability outcomes sometimes. And we have seen that there are ways in which we can do calibration in order to get probability outcomes from a classifier, such as SVM. Thank you.